My public protector, Advocate Busisiwim, uh, Advocate Tuli Matonzela, will make a virtual appearance before the parliamentary inquiry looking into her successor, Advocate Busisiwim, Kwebane's fitness to hold office. The inquiry has started, but Matonzela is yet to be sworn in as a witness. Uh, because Mkwebane's legal team is raising issues of unfairness in relation to Matonzela's appearance today. Newsroom Africa's Artem Tongana uh, joining us live now from Parliament. Artem, good morning to you uh, and thanks indeed again for this update. A very interesting statement is made um, by one of the investigative team leaders, Advocate Bauer, where she says that Advocate Matonzela did not want to consult with Advocate Mkwebane's legal team, simply put, uh, did not have a consultation with Advocate Mpofu, and yet she is their witness. What should we read into that? Well, what Advocate Dalimbofu has actually read to that, Oli, is that the inquiry deems Advocate uh, Tulima Donsela as their witness, whereas Advocate Tulima Donsela is a witness that was identified by the public protector herself. Remember that the inquiry now is currently dealing with the public protector's witness list because prior to the witnesses that are currently appearing, the witnesses that were here were identified by the evidence leaders including, of course, Advocate Nazreen Bauer. And so what we are facing now is a situation where Advocate Dalimbofu is expressing dissatisfaction around the uh, interaction and the discussions that took place yesterday uh, when the committee adjourned with uh, the previous witness, where we even heard the chairperson saying that the public protector's legal team is not ready to interact with Advocate to and that they would actually continue as a committee with or without them. But Advocate Dalimbofu trying to set the record straight as to why they said that they would not be in a position to uh, examine Advocate Tuli Madonsela today on the 1st of March. Uh, he cited reasons of the correspondence that they've had uh, with Advocate Tuli Madonsela, the delayed responses uh, that they've had. But what we wait for now is for the public protector's legal team to go through the latest statement. And once they've gone through that latest statement, hopefully after this tea break, they'll be able to eventually swear in this witness, which is Advocate Chulima Donsela, to start her testimony. And we believe that obviously because of some of the reasons that were put on the table by Advocate Dalim Bofu, that Advocate Nazreen Bauer would start off with the interaction of Advocate Tuli Madanzela before uh, the uh, cross-examination of Advocate Dalimbofu with Advocate Tuli Madanzela. Yeah, Ati, I think it's worth revisiting that earlier conversation we had about the reluctance of Advocate Madanzela to come to this in the first place. So if we now really piece this together, Advocate Madanzela has not had consultations with uh, Advocate uh, Bosusiwe Mkwebane's legal team, she is purported to be their witness. They are only finding out now that there is an amended statement by Advocate Matonzela. If we put two and two together, it would seem that Advocate Matonzela does not see herself as a witness uh, that is there, perhaps ported, purportedly to speak uh, for Advocate Busisi Wim Kwebane. I wonder whether this is going to go in the direction that Mkwebane's legal team wish that this is going to go. Well, that fully remains to be seen, but I can assure you that uh, the uh, public protector had actually attempted to try and get Advocate Tulima Donsela to come and appear. And so when they did not get a response from her, they wrote to the inquiry as per the directives, because once they get into a situation where they struggle to get hold of a witness or the witness declines an invitation, as per the directives of 
of the Section 194 inquiry, they can then write an application to the committee so that the committee itself can be the one to issue a subpoena for that witness to come and appear. Advocate uh, Dalim Bofu today is going to look through that new statement uh, together, of course, with the evidence leaders. Yesterday, the uh, legal services team for Parliament, uh, they actually highlighted an issue which, well, points to where we are today and the issue around how the um, uh, the former public protector only responded to the public protector's legal team on the day when they sent the application uh, to the committee to get the committee to get her to come and provide a testimony. And so also, well, it's important to note what uh, the former public protector will be here for and what she'll be questioned around. She'll be uh, asked questions around the CX report as well as the Fred Dairy Farm report, but we wait to to see whether she will be eventually sworn in once the two teams, the legal team on behalf of the public protector and the evidence leaders sort out this issue of actually getting Advocate Tulima Donsela to testify before the inquiry. Atim Tongana, thank you very much for the time being. We'll allow you to go back into that inquiry which starts in about, well, should we say less than five minutes time now.